This is the dream catcher of wire. It's uh, seven strands of stainless steel wire with a nylon coating, and the hoop is completely adjustable. So, get this big fat backing. Get the big fat backing. You can flip it over. You can hear your cymbal. You play off the hoop. The big fat backbeat, you can still play all your traditional brush strokes that you've become accustomed to over the year, but now you've got this whole new element of being able to incorporate the hoop into it. Our version of bundled rods, standard bundled rods. Uh, Promark used to have a, a patent on one to call the hot rod. And everybody copied it. Once their patent expired, everybody copied it. Uh, we feel we've taken that concept to a new level by putting a rod straight through the middle, and then we uh, double split the rod down the center. And what that does is creates a compression there at the end. So on those really low volume strokes, you're still going to get a bounce out of the out of the stick, and so you can play a buzz roll with these, and that which is unheard of with most bundled rods. You're just not going to be able to get that. So I'll just quickly just play in play a bundle uh, a buzz roll. So you can see right away with this product, it's bouncing for you. You can play a buzz roll with it. Uh, you've got uh, a much larger dynamic range with this over a lot of the other bundle rods that don't hit that low volume, which is the whole purpose of those products, right? It's to be quiet, but they don't, um, they don't allow you to play certain strokes unless you really hit hard with them, like a double stroke road with that stuff, or a double stroke pattern. It's very hard with a lot of the bundled rods. It's very easy with, and we call these doobies. So we have a lot of fun with our names. We have uh, our single split one are called spliffs. Our, our double cut one are called doobies. And we have a new product called the blunts. So we have a lot of fun with our names and I know drummers really like that, so it's a good thing. One of the things that I always missed about bundled rods was the ability to get a, a good clean sound out of the bell of your cymbal. And a, uh, a cross stick, for example, or a rim shot. These are all really common strokes that every drummer plays. But the problem with the bundled rod is if, if you don't require that, the splits, the doobies, and the blunts are awesome. But if you're needing a little bit more and you want to play a rim shot, you want to play the bell of your cymbal, we designed this product here. So this is a cross between a drumstick and a bundled rod. It's a hybrid bundle we've referred to the mass. So this is turned on a lathe. Then we drill a hole down to there, but we leave this part of the, the stick as a solid wood bead. So now, that's my target zone when I'm aiming for the bell or gonna do a rim shot. This is the type of bamboo we put in it. You can see it's a bamboo with the outer skin on it, and check how strong this is. That's what's in the end of this. So, the problem with a lot of bundled rods and what I hear about the complaints is, Oh yeah, I love them, but I break them like crazy. And that's going to be the same anywhere in the world. A, a drummer plays the same, he's going to hit it, he's going to break it, and that's the end of it. With the, with the crossovers, the unique thing is I, sh I demonstrated how strong that bamboo is. So you got all that, but now you can play cross stick. So you got your cross stick sound, and you got a good clean bell sound when you aim for that target zone. So a guy can play uh, bossa nova. Band starts playing louder. You can lay into it. And you don't have to be paranoid about breaking the product, right? So, say band starts playing louder.
So you got the dynamic range of a bundled rod right through to the dynamic range of a drumstick. So that's why we refer to these as crossovers. It's an awesome product. In this design, this remains a solid wood bead. So now we can mount a tambourine jingle at the front of the stick. While we're on jingles, another product that we have is called Jingle Things. And the jingle thing is the jingles mounted all the way to the front of the stick. We've taken a lightweight ball, we cut it, and we mount the jingle so you actually get a hand clap sound. And then by embedding a nylon bead in it, now you can hear your cymbal. So a, a fabulous uh, thing for a Motown. You don't have a tambourine player? The tambourine, uh, the singer can't play the tambourine? No problem. So it sounds like a real cool Motown sound. Works every time. So we call all those our hybrid mallets. So they're not really quite a mallet, but um, they have a lot more to them. So along that line, we have the, uh, the bead balls. So to make a, uh, a shaker work in a, in a, on a drumstick, the problem, in the, I tried several different ways to do this. The problem when you use an enclosed ball and you put regular shot that you'd see everybody else trying to do, it becomes way too heavy. And the sound can't get out. The sound's totally overwhelmed by the sound of your drums. So when you take a ball with all the holes in it and put a larger nylon bead in it, the sound actually can get out. So, by, for example, here's the bead balls. So you can hear the bead all the way through that, so that becomes your percussive attack sound. Another fun thing that everybody who captures a lot of attention when uh, people are walking by is our what we call an echo ball. You've all seen the thing where guys put their hands over the cymbal to try and create an echo sound. Well the echo ball does that times 10. So it's a real fun ball, a uh, fun uh, instrument to play with. Play with your right hand. So there's lots of cool stuff that you could come up with that. This, these are just all ideas I'm quickly showing you to get through all of this for you. The other thing that we designed were flat sticks, which is a whole new concept in uh, implements that you can use on your drum set. So over here we have uh, the flat sticks. We have ones that we call sawtooth that you can play like a guero on the edge of your drum and they're very pliable so you get multi beats when you play it when you hit it on the edge of the drum you get that uh, you kind of get this type of idea like a blast beat and uh, you can play like that so you're going to get the that and you can play a Another fun one we have are, we call the Rap Slapper. And the Rap Slapper uh, is like the old vaudeville slapstick that they used to have in the 20s, but which is wood. It was a wood, uh, two pieces of wood with a hinge in it. And uh, the percussionist would take it up in the air and slap it down and would create a really big slap sound. So I had the idea I wanted to have something like that, but you can actually play your drum set with it. So we took a... Um, uh, a high impact plastic and another high impact plastic on the outside thinner so you have two different types of plastic so what happens is so now you can you got a scratchy material on the outside so you get a, a vinyl record sound so you get that sound coupled with this sound so you get a root some really cool ideas that you can do air drumming and incorporate it right into your drum set. A lot of cool ideas. The finger flips, or these are called uh, finger snaps. 
So they sound more like your fingers snapping, much quieter. A little easier to play. This is all uh, really high impact stuff. It's called polycarbonate. That's what they use to make bulletproof glass with. So drummer is not gonna break these. In fact, they'll probably last forever. <laughs> so, uh, so a guy can play um, air drumming and then start hitting on their drum set. So ideas like that. These ones are called finger flips, so you can play them. They create a zip sound when you hit, and they don't play in the air, so there's no air drumming involved with these, which gets some really cool sounds, and you can play them sideways, or you can play them this way. So it's a really versatile instrument. I like to call these instruments because really they are. You're taking a whole new concept, a percussive idea, and putting it on your drum set. I told you, I showed you our bundled rods. We have uh, sticks like this that everybody helps, really does help, that sound fabulous on your drum set, but they're a little lacking on your cymbal. So uh, what we've done is taken this idea and put beads on it and made all the beads adjustable. So you can reposition the bead. So on your left hand, you could have them right down where you're gonna do your rim shot. And for your right cymbal, you could leave them up. Or you can mess, mess with it any way you want. So this is what uh, most other drumstick companies sell, this type of idea. If your drums sound great, you can't hear your cymbal. So with our product, with cattails, you can hear your drum. So now you can hear your cymbal. Very simple idea. Of course, there's our drumsticks, which are, um, all our maple drumsticks are made in Canada. Uh, we use uh, the best, I personally believe Canada has the best maple in the world. It's on our, our flag, the maple leaf. Uh, so I, it's all vacuum dried, hard maple. Our designs are very, very unique. All our profiles are, uh, really have radical tapers to them. They're very easy to play for a drummer. Uh, our hickory, you can see, is all in a different type of packaging. It's, um, we use American hickory because you can't beat American hickory. And we moved our main lathe down to Chicago, and so we're having all our, our drumsticks made in Chicago closer to where the hickory is, and then we everything is shipped up to Canada. And we finish it, inspect it, package it, and we ship it all around the world.